Right, it's part two of our video and I'm in the uh, YouTube application now. Um, I'm just going to do a search for some of our videos. Now, I'll just show you the on-screen keyboard here. It's a very, very nice on-screen keyboard that we've got on the HEC HD2. It doesn't rotate in every application like this one, but it's very easy to use. And in this example here, I'm doing a search for uh, our videos. So I'm going to do cool smartphone. Now, I'm going to mash up the keyboard. I'm not going to type in smartphone properly. Um, I've actually typed in something else, but it's already automatically guessed smartphone. So if I was to type in uh, cool, cool something else, smartphone, it would guess it uh, based on what I'm trying to type. So it's got this um, really good inbuilt dictionary, really, which guesses what you're trying to type even when you type it wrong. But most of the time, to be honest, you'll get it correct. I'm just going to search for videos um, that we've done in the past. And it says no videos found. I'm not totally sure why that's uh, not working at the moment, but I'll um, it's at least shown you the keyboard. I'm going to show you the browsing speed, um, which I'll go in through here. Um, we've seen Cool Smartphone before. This was on the GPRS connection, and yeah, you know, we can do the pinch and zoom stuff, which is all cool. Uh, I'm going to go into um, the T-Mobile product page. Uh, let's go into the T-Mobile coming soon and it's it's here the link at the bottom we can zoom in and then we can just tap the link like that and it will go over to the T-Mobile site as you can see it loads incredibly quickly I mean I've never visited the T-Mobile site before but it's loaded all of the um, uh, pictures etc extremely quickly indeed the rendering speed is very very fast you do have if you want you do have the uh, new Internet Explorer on this phone as well and you can use that to browse the internet if you wish. It does take a little while longer to render the page, it doesn't use any sort of um, server based um, rendering or anything like that but uh, and, and you can see here again I'm typing very easily with this on screen keypad here uh, so if I go to the bbc.co.uk press enter this again is over HSDPA the browsing speed is incredible and I can zoom, well I can go up and down but I can't do the multi-touch unfortunately the, the with the um, Internet Explorer on the phone you can only do that through Opera and um, we've also got uh, Marketplace which I'll try and access now see if that works and um, that takes a little while to load and it says that you need to download the actual application so this is really really the first time I've used this uh, downloads the application 685k that shoots down on the HSDPA signal that I've got at the moment and then we have to accept the terms and conditions and then it's going to install it for us and there's the marketplace so if I want to install something say Pac-Man I click on that that's £5.19 a little bit overpriced in my opinion and we can basically purchase products online uh, that way and install them onto our phone very easily um, see there I pressed the back key which is down here and it didn't go back one screen as I would expect it actually shot back to the main home screen there's a little little tiny things like that aren't quite um, polished up but um, little tiny bugs like that so I have to press back on the bottom here um, so we've got Twikini on here we've got Facebook we've got you know various categories on here there aren't as many applications as, as there are on Android, unfortunately. There's about 200 odd here in the UK, um, but you can install them. I mean, if, for example, if we're going to the tools, there's only 13 utilities to look at. But this isn't the fault with uh, the Touch HD, um, the HDC HD2, sorry. And we can install stuff like Microsoft My Phone, which is completely free, and that'll do off-site backups of your. Uh, personal data on the phone. It's a very useful little app. If we go back into the um, programs menu here, we've got Windows Live, so you can do, um, you can use that if you're a fan of Windows Live. We can use a Wi-Fi router, so you can basically turn your phone into a Wi-Fi hotspot and utilise a HSDPA signal to get your uh, laptop to browse out onto the web. We've got the Facebook application, which I'm sure you've seen. That will log me in automatically because when I first took this phone out of the box. Um, I did put some details in but it doesn't seem to have remembered those but you can log into there and it will log you in automatically in the future um, 
so let's cancel out of that and uh, we've got Google Maps we've got the HTC peep which is what I've just shown you with the Twitter application um, that will show where I am at the moment and again I can use the multi-touch which is fantastic to zoom in and again with the HSDPA signal you can see exactly where I am at the moment zoom in zoom in some more I am basically in a field by the looks of it so it hasn't started the um, GPS let's just say that I want to use GPS because that is not where I am if I'm in the middle of a field then I've gone off road and there's a problem now it's going to use GPS now it's the first time I've used GPS so we'll test out the, um, how fast how quickly it finds the GPS satellites I haven't run any um, quick GPS um, I see if there is a quick GPS program on here I can't find it so usually there's a little quick GPS application which lets you um, find the GPS satellites that are uh, directly above you um, but it doesn't seem to be on here and uh, there was Copilot by the way I noticed that you can also do things like obviously switch to satellite view um, and you can zoom in and have a look at your neighbor's back garden and whether they've had that um, swimming pool installed so here we are it's just getting me a much better picture and if I zoom in as much as I can I can see the back garden of the house near to me so that's um, Google Maps and that's on there as well overall the quality of the phone is fantastic it's a very thin device and it's um, not as big as I thought it would be and it is a, a joy to use it's the um, the saviour really of Windows Mobile at the minute I think with the the HTC Sense interface and the um, the sheer specs specifications on the HTC HD2 um, so I can't recommend it enough but uh, I'll be going through your questions over the next uh, few days as I mentioned in the previous video and uh, oh, the, the bit that I fluffed was that uh, if you go to twitter.com forward slash cool smartphone um, follow us and you can send us tweets and we'll reply to them and also on the contact form of coolsmartphone.com you can do the same.